Alrighty, good evening folks. So this is the super quick tutorial on getting the Fweb3, uh, you know, uh, task nine. So if you go to the Fweb3 website, which we will do right now, you know, you'll see these nine little dots here and everything else. And most of them are pretty straightforward. You can do the vote, you can do some swapping, but deploying a smart contract uh, may be a little bit, uh, a little bit hard for some of the folks who have never done any development before. However, I promise you it's super easy. It's something that you can go and do. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So here is a very, very basic smart contract. And literally I got this from a smart contract tutorial. Let me see if I can pull that up. Contract example. So if you can't find this code, you can find some Solidity example. So here is one that has an interface. There's the SLE. So here's one that I probably stole this from. It imported here from Open Zeppelin. You give a name, number, other things like that. And basically you would just swap out the name. So for example, I called mine the Schusterian Polygon Token, SPT. I'm gonna mint it. I'm gonna give it an initial supply. I gave it only about a million or so um, to go through. So I had that going on, but you can mint it, send it to Messenger. But really this is just a copy and paste job. Nothing that complicated. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to deploy it to the live network, which means we are going to use Remix. So if you never used Remix before, it looks like an in-council IED. It's remix.ethereum.org. And what you're gonna do is you're going to make sure you are connected to your Polygon address. This is my main one. This is the one I've been playing the game with the whole time. So you wanna make sure you're deploying from that particular contract. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to click on contracts up here. You're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it token.sol. .sol stands for Solidity, and which is the language we're using here. We're gonna copy and paste here. And uh, just to give you an idea of what's going on, we are declaring the, um, the version of Solidity we're using at the very top. We are going to import a contract and this contract's really gonna do all of the hefty lifting for us. It's going to set up the what the sends need to look like, the transfers, it's gonna do all safe, super, super safe. All you have to do is just copy and paste. We set up a contract here, we name the contract, we use this, it's called a modifier to basically say is a particular contract or it inherits a bunch of stuff. If you're not interested in that, don't worry, it's not necessary, but I wanna know that you, you, know, you have availability, you know you're able to do that or that you, that you can understand this if you'd like, but not necessarily for the game. Uh, we have the UN cons, which is setting the initial supply at a million. You have to do it because you have to put in a certain number of decimals, and we're saying that this is 10, to, you know, 10 times, this is 10 to the 18th power, which is the standard increment for what most Ethereum goes through. And then we just use this constructor, we set up the ERC20 token, we call it, you know, give it a name, give it a, uh, you know, a, a signifier, and then basically we mint the tokens and we send all the tokens to our address. So this address right here is going to have all of the tokens that we need available to us. So we're gonna do that. So after we're done setting up this contract, we're gonna go to this compiler, which is the second little tab. So the first tab will start at the very top here with the two little um, files. Next one is gonna be a compiler and we are gonna compile the token. So because we set up this up here, everything's gonna you know, work out just fine. And it compiled, it's okay. If it doesn't compile, look at what the compile errors say. They are usually very literal. Just look at what they're doing, go back to the contract, look at the line numbers that it's failing at. Should be pretty straightforward. But if you just copy and paste this code or some other code um, for the ERC20 token, you will be okay. And then finally, this is the part that might be a little bit tricky for you. We're gonna go to the very top and we're gonna go to environment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Injected Web 3. Now, what Injected Web 3 is saying is that basically we want it to use our MetaMask wallet, which is connected up here. And the way you can tell it's connected is because the address will be the same. So if I just use the JavaScript VM, it's gonna give me an account number with 100 Ethereum, DDC4, it's not even the same address. And if you go in here, not the same address. But if it's, it is Injected, it's using my address up here. You can check the last you know, few numbers, 3B8F, 3B8F, and even the number of Matic is the same. That's really good. So we're gonna go down to contract and we're gonna select 
the very last contract here. So we have all these other contracts, ERC20, I20. We don't want that. We want the very last one. That should be the name of our file, token.sol, and then Schusterian Polygon token. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and hit deploy and send it to the network. And so what? So I'm going to end up rejecting this one. Let me open up my wallet here because I am using a hardware wallet. So this is your reminder to go out and get one of these, even if you have no money. It's great for everything. So anywho, I'm gonna unlock it um, for now. So I'm gonna deploy it. We're gonna get this deploy contract up here and we're gonna go get some factors up here. Now, this is one thing I've been finding that I've needed to do. I've needed to edit this contract fee up to basically get my fees up. So I said edit suggested fee and I put it at high just because I like to do it. And that this is because um, the network seems to be a little bit more congested. So I would go ahead and put high on here. It says 35. Personally for me, I bumped it up to 45 just so I can go faster. And I would save that one. Makes the fee a little bit more expensive, but because we're on Polygon, it's not that expensive. And then finally, I would hit confirm and it would go out to the network. I am gonna go ahead and reject this one just because I've already done this, but basically you can now control this from your wallet. So I ended up doing this and this is what my polyscan ended up looking like or what the contract looked like. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go polyscan, throw in my address, and this was the very last transaction I did. So you can see the transaction creation and it, what it created this contract. If I click on this here, you can see this is called the Schusterian Polygon token, uh, where we have a million, you know, where now I have a supply of a mil, you know, a million now. I can upload the contract if I wanted to, to give this a little bit more detail, uh, which I'll probably do here. That seems like a little bit of fun. But if I go and take this contract, I can now go, if you're doing ERC20, if you're following this tutorial, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna import a token, SPT18, add the custom token, and look at that, I got a million SPT sitting here, so I can go and send that off. I can do that, it's my little reward to myself for finishing this off, and I deployed a contract to the Polygon Network. So, that's really all there is to it. So, anywho, feel free to use this tutorial, feel free to go out there and do this, I hope that uh, you do this. And again, if you submit uh, this and you know get all the dots, if you are the very next person to finish this, you get 33,000 FWEB3, and then the next 33 people get 3,333 FWEB3. So we're really getting out as much of that, uh, <laughs> as much of that supply as we can. So anywho, folks, thank you very much for watching this.